Hello YouTube, this is Dark on 633 and today I'm bringing a review of the Commander Drive Deluxe Signal Bike set. Now anyways, the two Signal Bikes that this set contains is none other than Signal Tamale, or however you pronounce it, I think I might be botching it just a bit, and Signal Bike Kaxarn. So, Tamare, which is here, is pretty much the stop single bike, and Kaxarn is the spread one, so it kind of spreads out in multiple directions. The other single bike I have, obviously, which was shown in the mock video, I also have the main mock single bike, but unfortunately I do not have Magarle, or however you pronounce it, which is supposed to be the single bike for the right turns and left turns, so basically it's just the turn in general. Now, since that came with the Zenran Shooter, I don't actually see a reason to buy that roleplay weapon, since after seeing the design, well, not the design, but after seeing the, how the toy was designed, it just kind of lackluster for what you're getting, even at a somewhat lower price at times. But anyways, we'll take a look at the box before we look at the signal bikes themselves. Shows a picture of Mach, the symbol there. And it does say, pretty much talks about its deluxe single bike set. And it shows that it can function with both the drive driver here and the mock driver, obviously. So that's pretty cool. We'll now take a quick look of the actual signal bikes close up. Now we have a close up here of the Tamare or Tamale, or whatever you pronounce it, uh, single bike. It's got a nice electrified design over it, and it's got this really cool translucent shiny yellow design over it with including sparkles and yeah, I just really like the design of the signal bike itself here. Obviously it does have the reader on the back as usual with all signal bikes, and it does roll pretty well back and forth, so that is pretty cool. Now we're just gonna take Tomorrow on the side and look at Kaxarn. Now Kaxarn's got this really nice blue design. It's got this machine gun motif all over it. So it's got machine gun design on the side and the top. And it kind of looks like it's got a rocket pad here too. So that's pretty cool. And two engine designs there. And I really like the design of both of these signal bikes. I think Bandai Japan did a really nice job designing the overall design of the signal bikes and yeah, I really enjoy it. And now we're going to go on to the functions of the signal bike set in the mock driver. First, we'll start with Tamari. So here we go. Slide this in. Now, as you can see, it doesn't go through the henchin sound since this isn't a henchin bike and it's rather just an attack bike, so it's just going to go through the generic signal Kokon chain. So here we go. So yeah, I really like the electrifying sound that this signal bike um, activates. So now we'll just go on to pressing the button just like we did with the uh, box signal bike. So yeah, when you press the button on the multiple uh, whatever you put inside, it's going to activate different sounds. So now we're going to go on to pressing this multiple times. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Now we're going to the finisher. So now we'll now go on to the Texarn. Signal bikes, there we go. Signal bike! Signal Kogan! Kakdan! I really enjoyed the bouncy sound effect that they gave the Kaksarn signal bike, so now we're gonna go on to the, the other sounds. Kakdan! So, that's pretty cool. And when you press it multiple times for the Kaxarn single bike, it's actually going to repeat it twice. Here we go. So, 
That's pretty interesting. We'll now go on to the finisher. I do like the sounds of the single bikes, so now we're just going to take this out. And, uh, and now we're going to bring over the brake gunner so we can activate the sounds. Now unfortunately, just like the single bikes, as I mentioned, the mock signal bike, uh, it's just going to activate generic sounds, unfortunately. So just to show it off, we're going to plug this in first. Here we go. Now we're going to take the single bike on and put in Kaxarn. So yeah, it is a bit of a shame that it has generic sounds on the single bike, especially since the single bikes, um, Pretty much Chaser still uses his version of the signal bike, and unfortunately, it will not make any new sound even for his signal bike in the brake gunner. It is a bit of a shame since Chaser still uses the brake gunner even when he turns to counter Chaser. So, it kind of is a bummer that they could have put a little bit more functions onto the brake gunner since it has so many functions alone. It's a bit. It is a bit of a. Um, Sad to see that these do not have functions as well, similar to the other signal bikes and not signal bikes, the other shift cars and the other um, role play toys that you actually activate with the brake gunner. But, anyways, I still think this is a worthwhile set to pick up, especially if you're a Kamen Rider Mach fan. And since these do work actually in the drive driver, even it does have limited functionality too, I still think it's worthwhile pickup. I got this around, I think it was around 12 or so dollars from Amazon, and it's definitely worth that price. Any more, I think, would be just kind of a ripoff, since even though it is cool and activates it, it just doesn't have enough features compared to some of the other previous Comrade toys. So, I still think it's a pretty cool set, and I still highly recommend it. Anyways, please, kind of subscribe, check out the channels down below, and also... Check out the associated podcasts on Roger Neon, WRW, Hero Talk, and Hero News. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. And also find me on Twitter under Darkon633. And I'll see you on YouTube. Bye.